everybody and welcome back to my channel. It has been not even a minute. I was gonna say it's been a minute since I filmed but it hasn't. I filmed literally I posted a video. I've been posting a video every week for like a week now. No, a couple of weeks now. Anyway, I am going to put my studio lights on. Not my studio lights, my mirror lights and I am going to film a makeup tutorial because I was gonna do it in last week's video but I knew that everyone wasn't going to stick around for a good 20 minute video, so just going to do it in this one. Also my top from ASOS, I don't know where from ASOS, but it's from ASOS. But yeah, let's get started. It's really not that big of a routine, like it's really quite simple. Um, my beauty blender's already wet, could wet it a bit more, I'm going to wet it a bit more. Okay, I'm back. I love how big and like juicy the beauty blender gets when you wet it, like that's it wet and that's it dry like look at that difference I love it anyway so the oh the first step that I do is normally pin my hair back but I don't know where my pins are so I'm not gonna do that just have to I also normally have like a headband thing don't know where that's gone either but we're just gonna roll with it step one I use the morphe 2 hint hint skin tint um, I am very pale pale what at the moment um we are in the middle of winter and i normally do tan in winter when i say fan fan when i mean when i say tan i mean fake tan i fake tan during winter but um i can't be bothered can't be bothered not me so i'm just not doing it now i do put quite a bit of this on i know it's meant to be like that no foundation foundation but i'm someone who likes to cover everything absolutely everything my skin is not all of the one color which upsets me now i normally do also put a primer on but i've just done my skincare routine so i've got like stuff on so i don't need to put anything else on i normally do it everywhere but like right underneath the eye because so much product gets in there and my eyes are really like i have very dry skin and so my eyes like very are very easily cracked what's the word like you I get wrinkles under my eyes really quickly so I try and not put as much product underneath the eyes as I said whilst I was beauty blending my eyes but um yeah I try not put a lot under there I also don't beauty blend my eyes like I don't put any foundation on top of my eyes just because then it just gets too much and I can't do it sometimes I'll run like with the rest of, like if I've got any concealer left on my beauty blender I'll put that over it but most of the time I just leave them pretty plain but next I go in with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I have shade Vanilla and this is shade Latte. What is it? Hint of Latte. So I go in with this and I just do a very like minute bit. I don't do a lot. Sorry, I'm looking in the mirror because it's on the side here. But I don't do a lot, just like in the, down here, in these creasy guys here and there. As I said, don't use a lot of it, but like, anyway, and then with the same end, I do this part here and then this part. I leave this part to last just to let it set a little bit because I don't use any setting powder. Normally I should. Maybe I will today. Who knows? But then I grab the pointy end of this and I just start going under and up and I bring it up the eye been watching the TikTok tutorials. I also bring it down the nose a little bit. And that is my concealer all done. So very simple, not a lot there, but you know, just enough. Um, still keeping in the cream products. I'm very much a cream product girl now. I used to just use powder and call it a day. Like I'd use powder foundation, um, powder literally everything. But I've grown up and I've moved on from that. And now I'm using the Westman Atelier um, cream contour stick and the blush stick. Um, I use the contour stick in shade biscuit and the packaging is so cool. It like is magnetic um, But I do this and then obviously I set with this I set this with the powder products like the powder bronzer and the powder blush But I just put this along put this along here very lightly I Don't actually know if this is the correct spot to put it but I put it up there. I think you meant to actually put it a bit further down. I don't actually know. I don't remember. Um, but my sister told me. My sister's a makeup artist. And she sometimes, you know, 
when she's being nice or when she wants to critique my makeup, she'll give me little tips on what to do. So I do take those tips in, into consideration. Um, and then I just do also in my temple area here a little bit. Oh, that was a bit dark. In my temple and then up on my forehead like so. I should really have some clips. Oh, look what I've got. All right, okay. And then I blend this out just like so. And I bring it up. While I'm blending, like I blend it up my face, kind of creating, as everyone says, a C. Um, I definitely have, like my makeup has been influenced recently by Madison Beer's makeup tutorial on Vogue. That really, you know, that popped off. So that's what I've been doing recently. And obviously I can't afford, not only can I not afford, but um, we don't have it in Australia, Charlotte Tilbury. Um, but we're getting it, so until then, popping off with these guys. Yeah, just dab it in, lift it up. As you can see, like I'm already getting creases. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'm really getting creases under my eyes already. So it annoys me. So if anyone has any tips for that, you know, let me know down below. And that is my cream bronzer contour done. I don't really contour my face. I don't know how to, so I'm not even gonna try. So I just use bronzer in the bronzing areas and in like the somewhat contouring areas. Next, I use the shade Petal, um, which is the blush shade, and I just put this right above where I did the contour on my cheeks. And you can never have too much blush. I used to be so... Oh, really did that in the right spot. But I used to be so afraid of blush, like I never used blush because I was like, oh my god, only old people use blush. Well, I don't know why I did that, because I was Miss Flat Face. I was also Miss Cake. I used to, my literal like makeup motto when I was younger was cake it, bake it, and fake it. Love myself. I'd say that to myself. I literally used to put so much foundation on, like I'd cake myself in foundation. I still sometimes do, but like, you know, I've like learnt. Um, but I used to put so much foundation on and I used to think it looked so good. Like when I say used to, I mean like this is only like two years ago, last year. I didn't actually wear makeup during the pandemic. But like last year I was like, yep, caking it on. That's what I've got to do. Like that's what I've got to do to look pretty. I'm just putting a little bit more on because it's kind of gone a bit. And everyone used to be like, oh, your makeup looks like really good. And I'm like, oh my God, yeah, I know, right? And my sister and my mum would be there bagging me going, oh my God, you've got way too much makeup on. Anyway, so I finally decided to listen to them and Georgia, my oldest sister and Eliza for Christmas. They bought me some stuff from Mecca to, like, help me get out of that, like, stage. And that kind of worked. And then we had the pandemic. So, you know, haven't really been doing my makeup a lot. Um, next, after I do the blush, I go in with my um, powdered bronzer. And I normally always, like, my ride or die is the NARS Laguna. Um, but recently, I saw Molly Mae using this. So, everything she does, I have to do. I love her. I love her. She bought this uh, Dior Forever natural bronzer and the packaging. It's like plush. It's so cool. Anyway, so I bought it and I already tried filming this video once actually last weekend or the weekend when I posted my last video. Um, and I kind of... I'm just going to insert the clip here of me breaking it. Not breaking it, but doing that to it. And using... Guys. Look what I just did. This was 80 fucking dollars. And it's all in my fucking nail. That's right. I'll pick it off the table. The table's clean. But, um, that's my ruined Dior for you. Oh, well. So, anyway, that happened. And not the happiest, but, like, you know, it's makeup. We move on. Anyway, so I've got this in shade 0 0.3 Soft Bronze. And it is, it smells so good, first of all. And second of all, it is just, like, the best bronzer besides Laguna. Like, and I don't use, I mean, this is probably the only two bronzers I've actually tried. Actually, I had tried them, the Morphe stuff. I used to have, by used to, I mean, I still have it. 
I used to have this, which is like the contour contour kit from Morphe. It's like the it's the old Morphe um, packaging. Like I still have all my old Morphe stuff in here. But yeah, I used to use that, and I thought that was the best back when I used to cake my face. But I moved on. I have moved on. Anyway, so I'm just gonna put this in the same spot that I pot I pot that I put the um, liquid bronzer. And then I also put it just where I put my other parts of bronzer. Okay, and that's that done. I'm very like quick with my makeup. I don't, when I say quick, I'm 15 minutes into the video. Like I don't really take a lot of time. I don't know if you get me when I say I'm not, I'm, I, I don't rush my makeup, but I'm not incredibly so slow that I take, you know, way too long. Anyway, next I move on to the blush powder and I'm just using the orgasm one because it is the best one out there I was going to buy the when I went to the Dior uh, beauty store I was going to buy the um blush that Kylie uses you know the one that changes with everyone's skin tone um but they were sold out so I'm sticking with my blush that I've had for about six years like I have not hit pan in this thing and I don't know why I, I should probably get a new one but like I don't know this one's just you know it's still working working well. It's also broken. I broke it. I low-key, I've got all, all my brushes, the Morphe brushes, because I bought the um, the James Charles brush set. You know what? I don't really care for drama. I don't really get in it. So I don't have an opinion on James Charles' little scandal um, when I'm using just in the same spots that I put liquid blush. And it just like emphasizes that blush. That's pretty much it. Just there. And now what I forgot to do before is I'm actually going to go in with the... I'm going to go in with the Laguna and just with, I have like a little bucket of all the brushes that I use on a, like when I do my makeup, like the brushes that I use on a regular when I do my makeup, they're all the brushes that I like, if I want to swap them out or if I want to use a new brush or just put a random brush in there. Um, but I'm just going to do my nose contour. Um, in my la, if you watched my two videos ago or something, I posted a video saying, I got a nose job. I did. Nah, I didn't get a nose job. I just got my deviated septum fixed. Um, again, if you, I'm, I don't know. I've got that video, like it's all edited and everything, but I just don't know if I want to put it up. Um, cause it's just a very choppy video, but yeah. Let me know if you want to see that. Cause I'm, I'm down to post it if you do want to see it. And then, so with my contour, I just grab a little bit, tap it off. And then I start up by my eyebrow and very lightly just go in a straight line. I also do my eyebrows last just because I don't do a lot to them. So I don't really need to. Like, yes, I know I should, but like, I don't, I never really knew how you filled in eyebrows. So I never did it when I was younger. Um, and I still just like kind of don't do it. I don't know. It's not really a, a me thing. I just like the very natural, natural looking eyebrows. Um, and the reason why I do like normally I don't on an everyday basis I wouldn't contour my nose but my nose is still a little bit wonky um the surgery didn't 100% fix that it was just to fix my deviated septum and then whatever was straightened as a result of that was just a bit of a yay go me so it's still a little bit crooked so I just like to put the foundation the um, bronzer there just to Kind of give it that illusion that it is straight. I'm not self-conscious about it or anything, but it's just like something that I do. I don't know. It You can't even see that. I don't know. Can you? Let me know if you can see that because I can see it here. Can't see it here. And that is pretty much... I was about to say that's my whole makeup routine. Guys, I'm finishing halfway through it. Link down below. I mean, subscribe down below. You know, I'm kidding. Next, I'm going to do my brows. Um, My sister did get me this product. It's the Hourglass Brow Sculpting Pencil and Spoolie on the other end. So I use this. This one's in shade Blonde. I do have the shade Soft Brunette, um, but I feel like the blonde matches my eyebrows more and it doesn't make them as harsh. Um, so I just pretty much go over the spoolie end or whatever this thing is called. I'm not very like technical when it comes to makeup. I don't know all the terms. I also don't know how to do everything. Um, I just tried doing winged eyeliner the other day, failed miserably, but that's okay. We live and we learn. So I'm going to try, I won't do that in today's video. I'm going to 
but I'm gonna try to do that more. I don't actually do my eyes on a regular basis. Normally I'll just put like a little bit of bronzer on them and we'll call it a day. I did forget to do that, so I'll do that at the end. But yeah, so just like that. And then on the tail end, it is a little bit lighter. Um, I don't like that. So I just, using this, I just like kind of brush some strokes into there. One good thing about this is if you do make a mistake, it literally just comes off. But that is my eyebrows. Guys, I know I'm very technical. Oh, that's done. No, it's not. I lied. I do use this. It's the Morphe Brow Setting Gel. I do want to get Soap Brow and I have it in my, um, my basket for, at, like, my Amazon cart basket. But I haven't checked out yet. Okay, sorry, my camera card was full. And my battery is also, um, flashing. So I might have to switch to my phone. But if I do, or I'm, yeah, I'm just going to have to switch to my phone. But anyway, um, so after I do my brow products, I am then move on, do a bit of highlighter. Normally I don't do highlighter on the everyday, but I thought I might pop it in just cause. Just use the uh, Mecca highlighter and just pop it in the, like right above where I put the, um, the blush. And then I also pop using that same brush, but a bit smaller. This is the M506 brush. I pop this in the corner in this part right here and then also on my nose and underneath the eyebrow. And then I just do my lips. My lips, I use the same two products each time. I just use Velvet Teddy Mac and I use the Basket Love Morphe Lip Liner and I just, I somewhat over, overline my lips a bit because I do like them to look a little bit fuller. It takes me a little while to do the, um, the liner and also I haven't done it properly today. I'm just nervous about my camera dying. But I just do that. Sometimes mm, I'm feeling like this might be a bit of a heavy lip, but that's okay. And that is, unless I've forgotten anything that I don't remember, but that is my makeup look all complete. I don't know. I like it. It works for me. Thank you. Anyway, I'll see you guys next week with another video. Finally, my little glow up is done. I also, actually, I'll tell you about this. I bought some pants from ASOS. These are the pants that I was wanting. Can I put them here? And this is what I received. And I asked for a, 30, a 36, which is like a UK 8, which is a U, a Australian 8. And I got a UK 30, I think I got a 38, which is a 10. And they don't fit me. I, I was like, okay, I'm going to try the style on. Don't mind the style, not hating the style, but I don't want the style. I tried them on. They don't fit. If they fit, I may have kept them, but I do have to return them. So that's really annoying. Um... But yeah, that's a little life update for you guys. My bed's unmade. This whole video, I just realized. But yeah, thank you for watching my channel. And please don't forget to give it a big like and subscribe down below. You guys mean so much to me. Love you. Forehead kiss. Oh. Mm. I didn't do... Oh my god, mascara. Guys, for mascara, I just used the Mecca mascara. Oh, it is ride or die. It's so good. So just pop it on. I do normally put a bit more on. Um, and I also do curl my lashes. But again, I'm running out of battery here. Um, thank you for watching. Love you. Mwah. Forehead kiss. Again, you guys are so lucky. Bye.